Hello, this is Dr. Lorenz at Longevity Health Institute. Good evening and uh, or afternoon whenever you're catching this video uh, on YouTube, I think, or Facebook. Um, wanted to talk to you about, let's talk about some hormones and, and recap some things about hormones. So if you're not familiar with me, uh, we have a wonderful longevity, regenerative, functional medical practice. Simply put, we do personalized medicine. We don't just band-aid injuries and wounds and issues. We fix them, dive deep into solving your health problems and regenerating them and reversing them and bringing you, you know, optimal health care and prevention uh, and function. So, but I want to talk about one of our main systems here in our personalized approach here at Longevity where we dig into and look at uh, hormones. So I want to talk about hormones. I think I got to mention this because it keeps being brought up to me. What's the beard about? <laughs> well, it'll be gone soon, but my son's in the Navy. And I promised him I'm not going to shave it till he comes home. And he's coming home December 18th. And uh, he's had to shave his head a couple times. And so I said, I'm going to grow my beard out and then we'll, we'll shave it all together. And, uh, you know, he's a great kid and miss him. And he's been in the Navy and I haven't seen him for about six months. So obviously I'm excited about that. But it's kind of in his honor and it's getting kind of crazy. But uh, it'll be gone soon. Nothing permanent. <laughs> so, but listen, hormones. Let's talk about hormones. So a couple cases today I want to bring up because it's stuff that when we talk about hormones, we don't always, always, you know, think about. Hormones, we often think about energy and we think about sex and muscle and uh, maybe immunity and bone strength and uh, hot flashes and uh, things like that. So those are all valid. Every cell in your body has a hormone receptor. Okay, and every hormone affects other hormones. Okay, so they, they, there's a lot of signaling going on between hormones, hormone receptors, and interactions, and through your liver and how they kind of, you know, actually uh, break down and interact. So, again, hormones are huge, and you can't really quantify each hormone just does this. Okay, but obviously there's some big things. But here's some common things that are stories literally today. Don't want to show you names or anything, but literally just so you know, today, uh, the 30th of November uh, in 2020. And these are two cases, two cases here. And, uh, you know, the patients that, that actually had some very quick, um, not unexpected, uh, kind of expected success, but very quick. Uh, one case is a patient that is actually um, 47 years old, and obviously here we're always looking at all your hormones and balancing them and from insulin to adrenals to your sex hormones to thyroid. And uh, this patient is suffers, suffers and suffered from a lot of years. She's been with us for the last about year, year and a half, um, and been suffering from migraines and fatigue and you know kind of malaise if you will and just eh, not feeling great um and uh, insomnia and uh she, we discovered that she had a thyroid condition which you can uh, watch some of my other videos on Hashimoto's so she has a autoimmune thyroid condition and uh technically low thyroid so we have that balance but she has still dealt with these migraines so fast forward she's energy's up and a lot of things are better, but she's still dealt with these chronic migraines. So when we re-looked at her hormones and we've been balancing her hormones, you know, her levels of estrogen and testosterone and progesterone are adequate. I mean, they've been good. If I look on paper, okay, yes, they're balanced, okay? And again, she's 47. She is in full menopause. Um, and so we're, we're taking an approach with her that looks at all her hormones because she's postmenopausal. So, but what I kind of noticed is that even though they're balanced and they're at therapeutic ranges for bone benefit, brain benefit, etc., they're not necessarily optimal. And I can't tell individually each person's hormone receptor activity. It's kind of like genetics. Yeah, there's tests and all that, but I don't know how many receptors she has open. Does she have a thousand open or a million open, okay? So as long as we're balanced and at appropriate therapeutic levels, the key is to, be, is to balance them and to get them some relief at a personalized level. So our biggest struggle to date, so a lot of improvements, but our biggest struggle to date is these migraines, okay, these headaches. 
and literally almost weekly and has to have shots and steroids and migraine medicines and what have you. Well, one of the things is that estrogen does lovely on is that when you're premenopausal and you're youthful and you're making good estrogens, estrogen allows your vessels to be stretchy, okay? And you actually can even produce more nitric oxide um, in your body, which allows lower blood pressure and better vascular blood flow. So postmenopausally, obviously, you're going to lose estrogen. Now, we've had her on estrogen, but what I had her do when we kind of were nitpicking through this and working on a personalized level is I said, you know, let's double your estrogens. They're natural, of course, bioidentical, but let's double your estrogens, and I'm going to replace your testosterone now that we haven't because it was decent, and let's see how you do. Well, today she was back, and... Um, on follow-up, she has an 80% reduction in the amount of migraines, this is her words, and uh, feels much better uh, mood-wise, um, hormonally, you know, if you will. Energy's still good. We're not 100% gone. I did some tests today to make sure that, uh, you know, we're balanced and where her levels are at. But by adding testosterone to her regimen, by upping her estrogen so they're, they're at more of an optimal, not just balanced therapeutic, but now we're seeing better results from her from a migraine level. So the goal is to be optimal and perfect and balanced and healthy. And that's always our goal. But even in, sometimes we need to really nitpick and tweak. Now, a very key story here, and I hope you stayed with me and follow this and share with others. This is very key. When I dove deep and I kind of, hey, let's talk again about your past and whatever. She told me she doesn't think she's ever been hormonally balanced or maybe when she was in her early, early 20s, okay? And I re-dug into her history, okay? And I re-reflected on her history. Again, 47 years old. Of course, I believe she's right. She's never been hormonally balanced. She's had three lost pregnancies. She's had infertility issues and has two children that she's had to struggle through. And she told me the only reason she has one child is because she demanded her doctor put her on progesterone, which she suspected was low, and um, and that allowed her to carry, okay, her last child. Um, and this is a person that notoriously, that I can guarantee, uh, yes, I didn't know her and I didn't have evidence of this, but I pretty much can guarantee she had imbalance in hormones, suboptimal ranges, caused infertility issues, and loss of three pregnancies, not one, but three, and it's why she still suffers from things related to hormones. So hormones are very, very key to be not just balanced, but to be optimal and to be looked at in a personalized way. Here's evidence of it at 47. So again, 80% better in migraines. She hadn't had one, she said, in about three, four weeks. Um, and uh, we'll see what her results are and if we need to tweak any more, but uh, way, way better. Now, here's another story about hormones that is very key. A 66-year-old, that actually, this is only my third visit with her. She's only been with us since early October, so almost two months, okay? And um, it, many issues, many issues. Uh, uh, fatigue, osteoporosis, hypothyroidism, a thyroid nodule that needs to be, um, she had a history in the past of rectal and anal cancer, um, and she's doing fine from that. But major, major fatigue and major, major depression that she struggled and where meds have not worked. Again, 66 years old. She came to us basically from a referral from another patient just because she is sick of struggling with this fatigue and with this mood disorder that even medications and prescriptions of antidepressants and that are not helping, okay? So obviously we did a full workup on her metabolically, biochemically, hormonally, nutritionally. And on again, her third visit, we've implemented a hormone program to balance her hormones. Why? It's gonna help her get out of mood disorder and mood imbalance and, and you know this depression and apathy. It absolutely will help her fatigue. And she has osteoporosis. And it's gonna be the main way she will build and reverse osteoporosis because it's the way she got to osteoporosis is by estrogen loss and hormonal loss. So again, third visit, she is out, quote unquote, I'm out of my depression, I'm doing much better, and I'm seeing finally some improvement. 
Again, third visit, two months. And this is somebody that has suffered for years, okay, uh, postmenopausally with a lot of this. So now, again, she's not perfect, and it's going to take us probably another few months to tweak and optimize, but we're already on the way to improvement and recovery with energy and mood, and hormones can affect mood, can affect mood, can affect mood, and I stress that and say it so much because it's very underappreciated and underutilized that when you struggle with apathy, malaise, depression, eh, you know, lack of vigor for life, you got to dive deep into your hormones, whether it's thyroid, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. It's got to be done right. It's got to be done balanced, but they're very, very key. Okay, so that I empower you to talk to your practitioners or us and make sure that it's done right and it's done optimally and personalized. So, again, our approach here at Longevity Health Institute is always to maximize your well-being, work on prevention, and, and wellness, even whether you're aware of it or not, will introduce you to it and identify things. Solve your goals and your issues, whether it's energy or vitality or sex or weight gain or weight loss or, you know, immune issues, okay, and merge these two, okay? And me and my practitioners are passionate and always excited about that to help new, new patients and others and, and to spread the, the word of and wealth of knowledge. Uh, related to this. So hopefully that uh, educates you a bit, enlightens you a bit. Um, let's keep doing the good stuff. <laughs> keep loving each other. Um, I appreciate you following my, my channel and sharing with others. And I'm going to have new stuff always coming out, as always. That's what my passion and goal is, to bring you the best in personalized functional medicine and uh, well-being. So this is Dr. Lorenz. Be well. Take care of each other.